All right, welcome to 12 Volt Cooking. And today I've got uh, some pork, some uh, yellow potato, baby yellow potatoes, and some onion with barbecue sauce. I wanted to show you, look on the left side, you'll see my hand. Right here, you'll see steam coming out. There you go, see that steam coming out? I know it's a little bit hard to see, but in the corners of these, there, and sometimes in the back, I think, there are little steam vents. I'll try to show them to you. And the reason I want to show you that is I've, I've seen people ask online if you can smell the food cooking or if it steams up your vehicle. And the answer is yes, it can. Not all dishes will, but if there's any water in there, it'll steam up. Now, I tried to cook soup one time. I tried to make a beef soup, and it just really steamed up in here a lot. Now, I've had other dishes I've cooked that don't have much water, and there's no steam. So... We'll open this up with that steam. See, you can see it coming out right here, right on the lower left. There's a little, there's little slots in there for steam vents. And uh, probably because there's a whole onion in here. That's, that's got to be what's done it. Because I didn't add, oh, and there's three little packages of barbecue sauce. I'll show you one. This one's, this one's teriyaki sauce. But I used uh, three barbecue sauce that were this size and one whole yellow onion. That's got to be where all that water's coming from. So I'm going to unplug this. And people always ask to. And yes, these things plug right into the cigarette lighter. It's been, this has been cooking for 90 minutes. There. Oops. Steam. Steam will go away really fast. I hope. It'll go away. And yeah, there's water. That pan and the steam's not going away. There it's going away. I need to I need to remember to fix that. Anyway, you can see it simmering away. Here's the potatoes. I put quite a few in. But what I do is I put these in a plastic bag, put them in the fridge, and I eat them cold. I like them cold. Well, I'll eat some right now for lunch. Yeah, look at all that water in there. I didn't add any water. This aluminum pan is like half full. That's got to be from the onion and those little packages, I guess. Maybe the pork soaked up some water. I don't know where all the water came from. But anyway, that pork is done after 90 minutes. There's a, It's just pork stew meat. I've tempted a lot of times, uh, I've tempted meat a lot of times at 90 minutes, and it comes out at 180 degrees. So I don't, I don't really tempt it anymore. Now the pork, there's a, an entire onion. There's the onion. And those, I put three packages of those barbecue, of that barbecue sauce in here. And as you can see, it turned into water. That probably the onion, I guess, unless these potatoes had a lot of moisture. It's really hard to tell. Sometimes I'll do it like I've done a, oh, what did I do? I did some uh, zucchini one time with a can of tomato paste. I thought it would all turn into water, but it didn't. It, it came out hard as a brick. So I don't know where all that water came from. <laughs> oh, well. But it, it's kind of marinated into the pork. That should taste good. Anyway, this cost about $4, but I'll get a little less than $4. But I'll get two meals out of it. It's only a quarter pound of pork. Actually, I might eat all the pork now, but then I'll get the uh, I'll I'll have the potatoes because I put a lot of potatoes in here. So I'll have the potatoes to snack on later, most of them, and uh, or I might use them in a side dish later on if I if I cook something smaller. And there's my pork. It's pretty watery. But it's looking good. I'm going to enjoy my lunch, and I will talk to you later.